The stakes are high and so are tensions with only two days until the election. The FBI is investigating an incident that happened Friday in San Marcos. It involves supporters of the president and a Biden-Harris campaign bus they surrounded. New tonight, President Trump responded to news of the investigation on Twitter. He wrote, quote, in my opinion, these patriots did nothing wrong. Instead, the FBI and Justice, presumably Justice Department, should be investigating the terrorists, anarchists, and agitators of Antifa who run around burning down our Democrat-run cities and hurting our people. KXAN's Jennifer Sanders digs into what happened and the police response. A fight to the finish. Both presidential candidates down to the wire on the campaign trail. President Donald Trump holding five rallies in five states. At two of those events, he addressed this video of his supporters surrounding a Biden-Harris bus on I-35 headed from San Marcos to Austin Friday afternoon. And hundreds of cars, Trump, Trump. Trump and the American flag. That's it. You see Trump and American flag. Some Texas Democrats say a Biden-Harris staffer's car was hit during the incident. Kyle police responded, confirming that two or more vehicles may have made contact. But since it happened in San Marcos, San Marcos PD had to investigate. Lisa Pruitt, who is running for office in Hayes County, was a liaison between the campaign event and the police department. She said she requested an escort the day before and called for it again after the caravan started following the bus. There were multiple Trump trucks circling the Biden bus, which was making it very difficult to, for them to exit the highway. San Marcos PD confirmed a police escort was requested, but officers never made it, citing excessive traffic. Now there are calls for state investigation into the incident and the response, including one from Hayes County Judge Ruben Becerra. Had the San Marcos Police Department had Constable Peterson had Sheriff Cutler, that's three layers of failure, had any one of them done anything to show a presence, we would have been in a whole different light. After reviewing video online, San Marcos police said the quote, at fault vehicle may be the white SUV and the victim appears to be the black truck. Now the white SUV was with the Biden campaign. The black truck was a Trump supporter. No one was injured. But State Representative Terry Canales urging Texas DPS to investigate, saying the driver of the black truck committed an aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Meanwhile, police say calls to the driver of the white SUV have gone unanswered, and it had not been contacted by the driver of the black truck. And now federal agents are stepping in to investigate as Election Day draws near. Jennifer Sanders, KXAN News. The city of New Braunfels said that its police department also responded to several calls. The city says officers didn't see any traffic violations and no one reported any crashes within city limits. KXAN has reached out to the Texas Department of Public Safety to see if that agency is investigating.